Hello. Uh, in a couple of moments, we will start to talk about moments. So far, we have defined mean and variance, which are two um, different moments for any uh, uh, defined for any distribution. So, in this video, we will define other moments of a random variable. As an example, uh, as example, we will. Uh, calculate uh, different moments of a normal distribution, Rayleigh, Maxwell, Poisson, and you should be able to um, to calculate and, and define uh, different moments of a random variable. So, um, if we have a given distribution, um, fx of x, Now, uh, using this random variable, I could define a function of these as z. Sometimes we define, we consider this as a new random variable. Sometimes we say, oh, this is a new a statistics of x. So the expected value or the mean of the new random variable is a moment, basically, is a moment of uh, your random variable. So um, upon uh, completion of this section, you should be able to calculate various moments for uh, different uh, statistics and for various uh, distributions. Uh, um, we also uh, show that um, using, ha using some of the moments of a random variable, we could uh, have an approximate uh, expansion series for many other uh, uh, moments and, and statistics because this function for example this function can be approximated using other functions so expected value of this one could be approximated using expected value of those expressions so what is the definition of a moment is very simple uh, we define nth order moment of a random variable x as expected value of x of n to the power of n, which is basically uh, the value of that this takes on, which is x to the power of n, this one, times its distribution, and then integral over all possible values of x, and integrate it over sum. If this was a discrete type random variable, you could have written a summation over all i equal uh, let's say 1 to plus infinity, and then you will get xi to the power of n, and then p of x equal to uh, xi. So all the values that x can take on. So, and then you sum it, and then you get your moment. So this is uh, nth order moment. This is the centralized. So if you, if you, uh, if you uh, uh, remove the mean, mu x, mu x is... Uh, itself mu x is equal to mean of x. So if the difference is the central uh, centralized random variable, now different moments of that. So if I put this n to the power of n and I calculate the expected value, I call this a centralized moment or, or a centered moment of x of order n, which is basically the value that this x can take on, I put it here, I put it in this expression, an integral over um, uh, x from minus infinity to plus infinity. Absolute moment uh, is that you calculate the absolute value of x first and then to the power of n, and or this one is uh, absolute central moment of the, another function of x. So, um, Moments are related to each other. For instance, if you consider this expression, because you know that a plus b to the power of n, a uh, high um, polynomial says that a to the power of k, b to the power of n minus k, okay, uh, and then you could say that k chooses n, and then summation over k equal uh, 0 to n. Because we have this one. So you could replace a by x and b by mu x minus mu x. And then you get this uh, identity. Obviously, we can calculate the expected value of both sides. These will become central moment. So these will become mu uh, x of order n 
which is equal to summation of k equal 0 to n and then um, k chooses n and then this become moment non-central moment of x of order k and minus mu x to the power of uh, n minus k. So you see that non-central <coughs> moments and central moments are uh, related to each other. I could have done the, the other way around. I could have written um, an expression that this side you have m uh, x and uh, n, and then you have another sum that you have mu of x and uh, k, uh, and then so on. Okay, so. Uh, as exercise, I want you to, it's a similar expression you can write. So, um, <clears throat> so the similar expression is that you can, you can use, because you could say that x um, uh, to the power of n is equal to x minus mu x, and then plus mu x, and then to the power of n, and expand this one and obtain this uh, identity. So central moment and non-central moment of up to order n are related to, to the um, non-central moment. Uh, for instance, for um, if you put n equals 0, so this is equal 1, and it is obvious for n equal 1, uh, central moment and... Um, uh, non-central moments, uh, this is equal to this one, and for a mu x of 2, this will become um, variance. So for uh, n equal 3, you can get these identities uh, from these two expressions, from this one and this one, so you get this one and this one, respectively. So we see that the, the moments and central moments are um, uh, related to each other. So let us have uh, one example. 